When factories build live steam models, they're reconstructing history. These working steam models take us on a nostalgic journey. And they're fun for hobbyists of all ages. Add a little water, light some fuel for the boiler, and it's full steam ahead for this mini replica of a 19th century road locomotive. Production starts with the boiler. A hydraulic press repeatedly punches a piece of brass, stretching the brass cap into a cylinder. It's a process called drawing, and it also strengthens the metal. A flat piece of brass is transformed into a cylinder in only a few minutes. Next, the ends of the cylinder are trimmed. Solder paste is brushed onto a brass cap and slotted into a holding device. Paste goes onto attachments inside the cylindrical boiler. Then the boiler and cap are press fitted together. The cap boilers travel through a furnace, which melts the solder paste, fusing the caps to the cylinder. Workers polish the brass to give it a nice sheen. Then they solder copper pipes to the boiler. These pipes will expel the steam as it powers this little locomotive. Next up, trimming the flywheel, which has been precast. The flywheel will smooth out the engine's firing impulses so that it runs more evenly. The flywheel is tightly screwed to the crankshaft. Workers check the sliding action of the piston and its cylinder. Then, they attach the assembly to the engine frame and the crankshaft. Lubricating the piston assembly enhances its sliding action. Using compressed air, workers make sure the engine functions and has no leaks. Once the model passes the test, it gets its front steering mechanism. This will control the model's front wheels while the back wheels power it forward. Steam machines are usually rear wheel drive. A wire called the drive band transfers the energy from the flywheel to the rear wheel. The steam model is hooked up to the compressed air tank once again for a final test run. And it looks like this model is ready for some action. All it needs is a canopy to provide a little shade. A rib design is punched into a little steel roof. After it gets a nice paint job, it's attached to the model. Production on this tiny treasure is now complete. This model will also take you back in time, but in high style. It's a luxury touring car. Workers install the piston cylinder assembly a little lower on this roadster and fire it up. Each of these mini steam models is a tribute to the original and give us all a glimpse into the colorful history of transportation.